water once it was hooked up to whatever, whatever they're using as the hydrant. This here would be a pump that you would pump and get pressure in and then that would work as a giant fire extinguisher. And then these here, they were like hand grenades for fires. And you would throw it and the chemical inside would extinguish the fire immediately. Thank you. Uh -huh. Glass fire extinguishers. Here's one for you to put out. A lot of this stuff is chemicals. This is how they would carry it because once it broke, the chemicals would be released. This would have been a fire alarm in the firehouse that would tell all the guys and then they would come down they would the firemen would live in the firehouse upstairs at a firehouse on most cases and then they'd have a brass pole that they have over here <laughs> came down the um, fire pole jumped in their uniforms got on the truck brigade or whatever and ran these are your fire boxes that you would have found in the cities, uh, usually on a telephone pole or something, you would pull that and open it up and the alarm would go off. And uh, then their alarms would sound in the firehouse, these big brass ones, and alert the firemen to go. And then they, over here you would have the ticket. That would tell them somehow, I'm not sure how it works, but that would tell them where the fire was at and where to go. As time evolved, they had plectrons and whatnot, just like the current police do. Okay, Just to let everybody know, this is in Allentown, New Jersey. Please like and subscribe. Says here, teletype dispatch system three. Relay array. The relay array converts the pulses sent by alarm box to the digit zero to nine. They are found in this in dispatch centers. So this was an early model, telling them where they had to go. Well, that's a nice piece to have. What's that? You would see this style more in like Philly and all that. In a major city. Yep. Okay. While small towns would have like the teletypes and all that. Like that small gray one? Yep. Did you see that over there? That would be a small local town versus a city. It would be something like this big one you see. Boy, that's a big badge, huh? No. Did I see this posted Looks like a greyhound on it. Yeah. This was a chemical wagon. This would have hooked up to horses also. So what kind of chemicals would they have in this? Um, I'm not quite sure. Okay. I assume like the early version of the chemicals in today's fire extinguishers. I'm guessing it's probably something like the stuff that was in those grenades. Yeah, most likely. I have a bunch here if you want to take one home. This came out of Florida. Okay. Douglas App. I was made in Florida. It was part of Little Silver, New Jersey. Right. Let's go see some more rooms. Oh, 
trips up on the logs. That'd be cool to find my dad's old fire truck. Real. <coughs> Sirens on the top, the lights. Oh, yeah, all the different areas of lights. No federal cues, huh? No, that's a small one. Yeah. I got a big one at home from my old 47 rail my dad had. Okay. When the guy bought it, he said he was just going to use it to water the crops on the farm. So I'm keeping the siren in the, in the beacon now. Oh, yeah. No, a little bit later. Everything but the fire hydrant. <laughs> yes, I don't worry. We have plenty outside. Cody, these are what's called Indian tanks. Now you've got about five, ten gallons of water in And I guess you could see that was the first super soakers. Um, yes. And what you would do is you basically hold the handle and you pumped it. And that's yeah. how you got the water out. Or you look here, you would carry them in. So it would go on your back, just like today, how they have hose. So this would pretty much create that. I think I have one in storage somewhere. In one of my units. I think I have one that I bought someplace. I'm not sure. My wife is always like, why you got that crap? That one, that was all brass. Mm -hmm. That's nice. What, what, what are you doing? What size? Okay. Right. So, like when you went into a brush fire and the truck couldn't get nowhere and the truck got stuck or broke, that was your saving device to get yourself a path out of the woods if you're surrounded by fire. Yep. So, and if that failed, you would have something like this. And that is pretty much a fireproof tent if you get surrounded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all about saving lives. And saving people. That's what lives are, dear. That's what this is for. It's not concrete until it is. This is, yeah, this gate is right here. Yeah, okay. All right, that's cool. Um, yeah, listen, the reason I want to... Yeah. See, I got that, I got that, I got that.
Dummy, dummy, dummy. There's the crash tender. Right here. There's a nice right one here. Alright. Right wow. Bit of a merry weather. So back with your battery display that you had, these are some, this is some of the uses of the batteries. If you notice the bottom half, the red section, those are batteries and they powered these lights. It's way before you would have rechargeable lights or rechargeable uh, USB cords and whatnot. Those batteries weigh like 10 pounds a piece. They had the handles with the light on it and they would carry them. Take this one. Yep. On that one. So, these are pretty big batteries back then. But that's how you had your light, and you needed light in there. And that, yeah. that, and that one on the left is explosion proof. This one here? Yep, that's an explosion proof uh, enclosure because it's a machine surface. And it was a, in case you went into a hazardous atmosphere, you wouldn't worry about the spark in the battery or, or, or the bulb okay. breaking before they came out with the new hazardous one, you know? The lithium? No, nah, just a different style of uh, hand light that was smaller, that was enclosed, that's like explosion proof. E easier to work with. Yeah, that. gas, okay. you know, gasketed and sealed and all of that stuff and lighter, but that was the old, the original explosion proof model. Some old photographs, fire department. There's some more silence there. What's the uh, voting box for? Um, I believe that was like the old style on boatmen back in the day. I mean, he helps you something similar to that. Mm -hmm. That's where the term being blackballed came from. Okay, yeah. If they count, if somebody put a black ball in, that meant no. Mm -hmm. So you guys probably had the same thing, but it looks like you have various different marbles in there now. Yeah. Not all of those would have been there originally. Yep. Now these are fire poles that would have been in a commercial building. So as soon as you pull down those handles, you know what happens. Fire alarm goes off, everybody from school takes a walk outside, and you wait from the city, there's a false alarm, hopefully.